Alright guys, so we are starting the water pump replacement on this 04 Silverado. We already got the air intake off and we're about to drain the fluid out of the bottom. We're going to be replacing the water pump and the fan clutch today. You're supposed to replace both of them when you do this and the thermostat all together because the car was just pissing out fluid. You can't really see anymore, but it uh, did not hold any antifreeze at all. So we're going to go ahead and fix this. Alright, so we got the air intake off. We're going ahead and Drain all that fluid out, it's now sitting all over the floor. Got the upper radiator hose off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the water pump off. The belt's already off, just take that off with the idler right here. Then the idler's gonna have to come off this entire assembly. Uh, you can do it now or after it comes out of the car, pretty much. It's gonna come some more, possibly. Just like this. Alright, there's the water pump out. The fan's still connected. But now we gotta do some cleanup work. Right in here. We wanna get all the gummed up gaskets off and potentially clean a little bit of this up. But it was only six bolts, three for each side, in and out of the water pump. And you can clearly see here that these gaskets were gone. Like this one's completely gone. There's all this gunk built up underneath it too. So I definitely need to replace it. All right, so we got the water pump out. Got the new unit starting to look, and it's about to go in. The housing and the thermostat's in. Idler pulley's on. Now we gotta get the clutch fan on this, which we're trying to work on because it's a pain in the ass. That's a big ass wrench. All right, so we got the fan off the old unit. What we ended up doing was putting a vice grip in here, locking it down really hard, and then getting a big. Uh, pair of vice grips in here and taking these off. And the new one has all of its stuff on it already. Fans ready to go and be put on. We're gonna put that on once it's in the car. So now we're gonna put the bolts all through these holes here, set the gaskets on them, and then put the part inside the car. The uh, Everything on the block is all cleaned off now. You can't really see it. There we go. There it is. Everything's cleaned off here, here, and then under there. All right, so we got the water pump back in. And my dad's putting in the lower radiator hose. Gotta put the upper in, put the fan and the clutch connected there. It's a lot easier once the belt's on, so then it actually holds it in place, so that'll be nice and easy. And then buttoning the rest of it up, and then we're all finished. Alright, she's back up and running. No more leaks. So this uh, this whole video is pretty relevant to the channel right now because a lot of people have been asking why the Mazda has not had anything done to in a while. And that's because the hoist for the engine is sitting in the back of this truck. The water pump blew on this thing while uh, my dad was at work so we weren't able to bring the engine hoist home actually. But here it is, sitting waiting to come back. And actually, uh, while he was away over the weekend, he decided to do something pretty cool. And he decided to buy a new truck. So if you guys have ever seen this before, this is a 2018 Chevy Silverado Z71 1500. It's got the 5.3 liter in it. Pretty awesome. Absolutely amazing looking truck. Black on black with a uh, little bit of a all-terrain tire on it. Super nice car. Truck, I should say. It's all bedlinered, bedlinered out. 
inside's really nice. It's not the full crew cab, it's like the half door cab. It's a little bit smaller seating room, but that's how the other truck was, and uh, he liked how that looked. So he went ahead and upgraded this truck. We don't know what we're going to do with yet. He wants to keep it or sell it. But what's nice is that will become the new tow rig for future taking cars places, picking up new cars, drifting if I ever end up getting a tow rig. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll uh, update you very, very soon on the Mazda. In the next couple days, we're gonna have the engine hoist over at my house, so we're gonna be able to actually get the engine out of the car for the most part, and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.